and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding Fiora. We're going to be playing Fiora Garen Demacia midrange, you know, with Bannerman and everything with the new hotness unyielding spirit. I have been losing it to this card quite a bit. Um, so we're going to try it out ourselves. So eight mana epic burst speed grant an ally i can't die or take damage i guess it's the other way around but still this card's really hard to beat <laughs> unless you you know go wide if you're you know if you're already behind but if you're if you're ahead at all and you can throw this on a fiora throw it on a garen that's tough tough to beat so um Let's give it a try ourselves. We've got a lot of challengers in here. You know, we're going with our Laurent Protégés. I like Protégé. A lot of people play Badger Bear in the three mana slot. I'm not a big Badger Bear kind of guy. Um, but besides that, uh, I'm also playing a, a good amount of interaction or, or tricks to, to uh, at least, besides just the Unyielding Spirits. I've seen some people play these lists with like just Unyielding Spirit and like single combat and that's it. But I like various one ofs that um, can do some work when you need it, like a repost, a concerted strike, which this card's underrated, by the way. But a repost, a concerted strike, a radiant strike. Ranger's Resolve is just awesome. This card's really good. And uh, yeah, just kind of combining all those, like, um, you know, when you have a different answer for different things. Because there's a lot of burn decks running around these days, we're going to be playing a Radiant Guardian. This also seems like a really good target to um, Unyielding Spirit. So instead of going with three Swiftwing Lancers, we're going to go uh, two and one and play a Radiant Guardian. Um, but there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Unyielding Fiora. As a new player, what's the best way to level up and get a better collection of cards? I've played for one day, and I've managed to make a super budget deck. Yep, I don't know if, if ranked is my is best, but in ranked, I've won one of four games. Okay. Yeah, ranked is a very good way to get better. Absolutely. it's It, it probably is the best way to get better for just playing playing your deck. Um, but it is tough. You know, like it is... It is, uh, it is tough, but... When you start out in ranked, you will play against other people with beginner decks as well. But you'll also sometimes play against people with like more powerful meta decks. And uh, and that can be tough. The other thing you can do, um, it's not as good for, for strictly just getting better, but just for um, getting more XP and earning more cards is is because it's always better if you win than if you lose and what you can do is you can play against the ai and the ai is a little weaker um but not too weak like they it's still challenging like you'll still lose to the ai um but that's another thing you can do is is play versus the ai and you get you do get experience from feeding the ai as well Yeah, it's not bad to lose at a low rank, but... So, good, I'm glad you don't mind losing at a low rank. Um, but after after a certain number of losses, I don't know, maybe like 10 losses each day, you stop, you stop earning XP that day. I don't know the exact amount, but it's some, something like that. Yep, you still get XP for a win. Um, no matter how many wins you have in a day, you still keep getting XP for wins. So 
Do they have like file feast? Wow, just a pass. Let me change into something more comfortable. This die. We get a life steal tough radiant guardian. It's a good question for the chat there. What's favorite deck so far? Leeson Vi. It's high tech. Dark Dr. Fragile says deep. Sawani so Frost, yeah. That's my favorite deck. Oh, come on. That's hitting my tracker. And the Fiora. This will be quick. The squish goes to spider. Yeah, it shows you which ones will be hit after it's cast, like, you know, once it's, you know, mana paid for on the stack, then yeah, it'll show you which ones will be hit, you just, um, mouse over it. Do you need to play more Ember Maidens? Yeah, y'all y'all keep talking about Ember Maiden. Do you need to play play some Ember Maiden? By my honor, you must die. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Nice! You just got two misfortunes and a champion chest? Dude, that's awesome. Congrats. Yeah, congrats, congrats. Oh, 
withering whale. Withering whale. I don't know what withering whale really does, but I just want them to play it so I can rangers resolve and counter it. Ooh, actually no. Play withering whale, but then also in response play make it rain. No, I don't I don't know anything about tournaments with Legends of Runeterra yet. I haven't really figured that out either. Really hope they start designing in client tournaments that you sign up for in client. And you know, you pay like an entry fee of like however many shards, and then you get prizes. Really hope that starts being a thing. Something that, like, you know, like Magic Online has done for, like, that's something I've done on, like, Magic Online for the last 10 years is, like, enter, like, the daily tournaments and stuff like that. That does four damage because of this powder keg. All right, we need to get our top end. Where's an unyielding spirit, please? I'll take Garen. I'll take a concerted strike, I suppose. Get over here. Whenever I'm playing against the Demacia decks, they always have Cythria. Garen, Cythria. Healing Spirit, where's our top end? Hmm. Was I supposed to Concerted Strike that? Keep them from drawing two cards? Maybe. There's certainly going to be better targets. You know, champions and stuff. They're getting so much card draw. So pretty. That card's awesome, by the way. Coral creature is super underrated. He said there's only been one official LOR tournament, the Korean Invitational. But still, it's through, like, Discord, right? Like... As far as I know... Should have... Like, gotta have tournaments on client, not in Discord. Because, like, just the barrier to entry is really high. Like, you have to have... Somebody that like understands Discord, you know, signs up for that, finds finds where it is. Um, like, there's just a huge barrier to entry for that. Where if it's just on client, a lot more people will be able to see it, understand it, join, play. Because that's what you want. You want people playing in tournaments. Because then more people playing in tournaments, more people excited about the game. Game grows.
Well, I guess we'll just keep drawing. Keep drawing bright steel protectors. Build a six different champion deck. I never got to that, did I? That was I did have a plan for doing that of um, four de like before the new set. We had twenty four champions, and so go four decks of six different champions each, where you use all twenty four of the champions in four decks. The only way to do that with like the region requirements is you had to do. Two decks, um, two of the four decks had to be mono, or I guess, let's see, I guess all four decks had to be like 4x of the champions of like one region, and then you had two of the regions that were split up of like two each and the others. That was the only way to do that. Yeah, and yielding would be nice. Garen, Jithria. I don't know. I think we're just dead. All, we, all we're doing is just top decking two drops. <laughs> Bright Steel Protectors and Warshafts. And I think we're dead. That's all we've been drawing for a while. These Make It Rains have been insane. They've cast three Make It Rains, and all three had the the two best targets, and the Make It Rain hit hit the, the hit two, uh, like, you know, the three targets. Two of them were the very best target that you could possibly hit. We had Make It Rain in the Starlit Fate, and we we did terrible with that card. Well, terrible luck wise. I'll have to play something. Well, at least we got to the <laughs> the new rank. As soon as we got to this rank, we've lost five in a row now. Legends of Runeterra is like, you've been playing too much. Just gonna lose. You've hit your win quota for the day. Which I guess is 22.
All right, so Fiora trades with two trackers. Bank this mana. My heart and for so that's good they didn't have another thing to play. Last turn, which probably means a whole bunch of five drops. My shield is yours. Garen, I need you to level up. Need you to level up. Do you think they just don't attack? That's too too greedy for me having the judgment. I could have had the three in play. I held up judgment. If they attacked, I was gonna have that, but to kill the war shafts but honestly maybe I need to kill the valor Barrier or what? I was gonna say that would halfway level up my Garen. You cannot stall judgment. Even if, like, they could have repost, which would be bad for me. But if they just have, uh, I guess single combat's bad also. That's still just trading four for four. Card way, card wise, kind of. I guess we really trade for like three because we got 
Oh, no, no, because that was the Quinn's Valor. So, yeah, so we traded four for four. So, it could be worse. Basically playing everything. Um, yeah, so this is choose an enemy, two allies, strike it. So we can have both of these strike the Radiant Guardian to kill it. Which I still feel like it's probably Radiant Guardian, not Fiora. That I kill. But now I guess I don't get to play this Warships. Because that Warships will die to Fiora. I gotta kill this Quinn or it's leveling up. I should have just played Fiora, by the way. Now they get to play this thing. They're at 10. Okay, if they just pass back, what are their blocks looking like? If I challenge... If I challenge the Badger Bear, what are their blocks on these things looking like? Probably Quinn in front of here, this. Got him down to four. Of 
I mean, I guess we're ahead. Right now? Yeah, I mean, we're ahead. Our worst draw. One mana card. <laughs> we are not good at drawing our top end. Top deck or our top end. I mean, I guess we had the Radiant Guardian there. But they did as well. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd rather top deck. Um, Bannerman. Than Fleet Feather Tracker. Alright, so good draw for them. I can go straight to combat. Trade 3 1 for 6 3. They chump block here, take 2. Well, that's just wonderful. We actually drew Unyielding Spirit! First time we drew the card! And opponent surrendered! There we go. We had to draw the one drop so we could draw the eight drop. Alright. Do y'all think Unyielding Spirit should be a three of? Instead of a two of? Even if it's an eight mana card. Do you think it's so good? that we should just be playing three of them. What do y'all think? Could I say maybe? Maybe we just need three unyielding spirits. There are some counters to it, that is true, but not many. Not many at all. You're watching this on YouTube later. Let me know in the comments. Should Unyielding Spirit be a 3 of? saw a great counter do it i do think that like if if it becomes you know more popular that these demacia decks for the three mana slot we need to start playing um yeah all right need to start playing the uh three mana mage seeker uh, investigator, so you can start creating detains, so you can detain All right, let's miss some food. stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, Alright, so your counter that you saw was Lux Thrash with Unyielding Spirit, Unyielding the Thrash, and then detained the Unyielding Fiora in the Thrash. Okay, so yeah, they were, yeah, that's what they are doing was detain. And then, yeah, if you're playing your own um, I mean, maybe I don't trade because I have Bannerman. I also don't want to... I don't know if I want to take four. Also, I also just don't really want to play Bannerman for a long time. Like, I want to play these Grizzled Rangers and Garen and stuff like that. Like, Bannerman, I'm, I'm planning on playing a lot later, so... Yeah, he got the disdain from the Mage Seeker. Yeah, it does seem like the way to, to win Demacia Mirrors is have... Maybe just start playing Detain. 
but just have like three unyielding spirits and detains to detain stuff not only detain their unyielding spirit but detain stuff into your creature with unyielding spirit as well mayhaps yeah will of ionia is like really like the only the only thing you could also yeah you could also just splash will of ionia in this deck yeah, that's absolutely something you can do. Alright, so we're going to kill their Scythria, level up Garen. Get some rallies. Yeah, those, those denies that used to be in the deck have been replaced by Grizzled Rangers, but um, yeah, same kind of thing. Instead of playing Deny, you play Will of Ionia. Guess it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to attack with the Garen. I guess I could have attacked with everything though. I could have had War Chefs pump War Chefs pump uh, this thing. I guess. Oh well, all good. I like I like kind of keeping these big and and uh, everything for this Bannerman. Next turn we got Scooter and no Bannerman way. together. They may just go straight ahead and challenge. Yep. Uh, wrong creature. Literally wrong creature. Darn, they figured it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grizzled Rangers is insane. Yeah, I... Yeah, this card's insane. <laughs> That's, that's about the only way to put it. Scout as a mis mechanic is real strong. Yeah, Runeterra is the, the jam now. GC he hero. Alright, so the problem with playing Ranger into Bannerman is... They challenge Ranger again and just kill it for free. In which case, I guess I sit three. Uh... Oh, what's up? I, I can attack. That's right. That's a thing I can do. Yeah, the new set is out. Yeah, I definitely need to get back into it. Yeah, the new set is out and it's on mobile now. Um, and it's really slick on mobile. Works really well. So, like, I know. Uh, my friends saying they're playing on like their iPad and stuff too. Um, I don't like this misfortune card. What if you create an ephemeral copy of an unyielding creature? If it says it copies everything, you know, I would assume it copies the unyielding thing also. But then, then it can't die, so it just stays out, and you just get a copy for good, I think. Does that sound right? I want to check my math on that one. Love ya. 
try to avoid mobile games, I'm not gaming too much. Yeah, I've already thought like we earlier we played against Grizzled Ranger plus Dawn and Dusk, which was which looked completely broken. Oh come on. Why oh, you gotta be like that? So we did play against that earlier. Alright, what if I just attack? See this thing goes to four. I guess so only misfortune can kill this. You know what? Yeah, like, what are we doing? Let's attack. Uh, let's go to 4-4. Four, four. Alright. The 2-1, you're not attacking. The rest of you can attack. Heck, I should I should just attack with that thing. Yeah, I should have attacked with the 2-1 also. Yeah, because this only goes up to 3. I should have put this War Chefs on this thing. It's weird blocking. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I would I would kill Garen if I were them. But I don't know, maybe they have another challenge thing here. Yes, ephemerals trigger last breath, yes. No, they have another challenger thing. No, Aaron. I'll never get you back. I'll never let you go. Aaron. I'll never let you go. Oh, Aaron's back. Back again. What's up, go boat? <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you so much, go boat. Missed you too. Thanks for sticking around, keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. This game is awesome, man. Now it's even out on mobile. New sense. Game is really, really good. I don't like you, four one. Justice waits for you. Go down, will you? I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smell, on the other hand. Dang, I'm gonna lose this game, aren't I? This game I had no business losing. I'm gonna lose it, aren't I? this game. Yeah. Alright. I, I don't think I really should have lost this game, but I did. I need to be more aggressive. I need to get those badger bears out earlier. Those kind of things. 
could have attacked for four with with that fleet feather tracker the previous turn a lot of things i could have done but now a leveled up misfortune and that's game Maybe I don't attack with that. Also, with all of that, maybe if I just don't attack with the Garen, keep that alive. I could have kept that alive, potentially, and then had a judgment for that turn. Yeah, Scrub Lord, looks like you are subbed. Earlier, a CDN dude gifted out five subs, and you were one of them. Oh, don't cry. Now you get to use all the awesome emotes. Yeah, that's what I was saying, is that the, yeah, unyielding and dawn and dusk, I would assume you just make more unyielding things. We we're, we're kind of talking about that. And so maybe splashing for dawn and dusk in this deck, because, because dawn and dusk is just amazing with Grizzled Ranger anyway. So that could that could be the splash, and also this deck probably like I probably should just be playing three unyieldings. We're like never drawing the unyielding, and the unyielding would always be amazing, and we never have it. Which means I probably need a third. <laughs> Don and Dusk and Nivia is amazing too. If only you could have all of them together. What's up, Unyielding Spirit? Got your back. Found the Unyielding Spirit. thing to die. Heal two. Heal two, toss two. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. <laughs> Dawn of Dusk is your favorite card. Use it in stupid ways and it works. <laughs> yeah, there, there are a lot of Stupid ways to use that card, but uh, good ways. Yeah. As that's a card that you can have a lot of fun with. I like it too. They're not just setting up ruination. Obliterate. 
No. I can't save with unyielding un unyielding spirit. To obliterate. I had a really good hand that time. And ran him over. Alright, two and two. Let's get this win and get a nice three and two. Get that winning record back. Playing against Twisted Fate. It's a card I'm a fan of. Especially with Starlet Seer. That's Starlet Fate deck. Big fan of that one. Keep these cards. These cards look like cards. So we'll keep it. Got your back. I've whipped up something special. Why would you play that pre-combat? Don't you want me to attack first? take three and then you play that and get to have the barrel unless they wanted to sacrifice that barrel for three damage or like gain three life huh Okay, yeah, the cards decks I've liked the most are probably the... Like, I'm playing a lot of them today. Some of the things I've liked the most. The uh, Sejuani Frostbite is probably my favorite over, overall deck. By the way, that's why I didn't play Fiora. Being the 3-3 three, three, that it would die to make it rain. Um, The Starlet Fate also... That deck's different, but um, certainly one I'm a fan of. I really I like Sejuani. This can't be worth it, right? Okay, so if I if I don't cast single combat. This just trades. The board trades. I have five cards, they have four. And I have a single combat. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I'm going to keep the single combat for, like, uh, Garen level up and stuff like that. Like, that Fiora's going to die anyway. I'd like, that's just a crappy 2-2. Two -two. I'd rather, like, kill a Twisted Fate with this. Um, something else. Like, a card that matters. That two two doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I like Swain. I think I like the the new Noxus cards. The new the new Noxus cards are are pretty good. Um, we play in bilge rules, so. Just overall, it's a well put together set. Something the matter. I really like Bilge Water as a region. I, just, 
pirates and everything. Pirates are cool. And the underwater stuff with the deep. It's a really cool region. Their theme song's awesome on their board. Well, we should have this. Play Cythria, attack. We could play Bannerman and keep Riposte available. Bannerman's kind of like mini Cythria. You cannot stall judgment. My selection speaks for itself. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you, Scrub Lord. Scrub Lord goes, I know nothing about uh, League of Legends lore, but almost everyone feels like a badass. <laughs> I agree. Same. What's the most powerful region right now? I mean, I guess right now it's Demacia. But I think that can change. I mean, Demacia had other times like where it was the most powerful and that, and that uh, you know, changed over time. Um, this... Grizzled Ranger feels really, really good. I like Freljord a lot right now. Freljord's probably my, my favorite region. I like Freljord as like an answer to Demacia with the Frostbite cards and everything. Um, but yeah, so there we go. GG's. Uh, Unyielding Spear looked really good. Definitely looks like a card that I wanted as a three of. I know Ionia, you know, Will of Ionia is like the main answer that, that people kind of point to, but I don't know. There's not a ton of Ionia as a region being played. And as we talked about, it may be like Detain is something that we want to want to start playing, start looking at. Um you know, if not Detain, then Mage Seeker Investigator, which does mean you need to play more six-cost spells. Obviously, the best six-cost spell here is Unyielding Spirits. Maybe play that. Maybe play a back, you know, if you have, like, three Unyielding Spirits, maybe one or two back-to-backs, then you can have Mage Seeker Investigator. Like, I could I could definitely see going in that route with Demacia as well. I mean, you're probably not, you know, like, you don't play Repose, don't play Radiant Strike. You know, like that kind of stuff for to fit a couple back to backs, an unyielding spirit in, and then, um, you know, maybe you trim down on, on protege and take out the radiant guardian, uh, to fit investigators in. All right, but anyway, that's that's unyielding Fiora, definitely looks pretty strong. Unyielding spirit in particular looks really good, but you know, this is just kind of like a first a first take. You know, you can kind of work from here um yeah probably probably just want the third on yielding spirit all right all, all of uh everybody on youtube watching this later on please hit that like button over there and uh, you know feel free to leave those comments let me know if you think the third on yielding spirit should be in here what we should do all that kind of stuff but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video